Well, I'm not sure if this is focusing, but uh, kebab dinner number three. So I'm all set up. I have my very expensive lamb. And then I've got this still, I'm still using up. Parsley, mint, tomato, onion, sumac. Sri Raja sauce. Yogurt. Should really have garlic and lemon in it, but I didn't do that. And I got the tripod set up here to shoot me making the kebab, which didn't work out last time, and kebab number two. This time, no guitar, although <coughs> guitars are over there. A little focus, and it's focusing gradually, and that's fine. And I cleaned the flat, so instead of a uh, nightmare abortion, kitchen counter is clean and the dining room is clean and then uh, outside not so good a lot of bottles and, and cans and metal and beer cans and things that have to be put in recycling but I mean that's the job for tomorrow it's blowing outside it's raining for a week nightmare weather uh, but that's all right. It was very tempting to buy a kebab and get it delivered, but uh, I still have to use up these uh, kebab meats, which I mean, they're these ones and they're okay. The option, other option is is frozen meat. These are fresh and already marinated. They're in strips as opposed to shavings. But I mean, it is what it is. So, but look at that a clean apartment. Little focus, focus. No, not really, doesn't really want to focus. Some other focus on this camera isn't great. So, uh, anyway, okay. So what I'm filming on is a, uh, not cheap, it was 2,000 kroners or something, but a carbon fiber Rolle light travel tripod, but it was the cheapest I could buy. And I actually got the much lighter one than I wanted, but I mean, it works out fine. And it has a ball head, which you can kind of move around, if you can see that which is good so that's to replace my 30 year old slick uh, travel tripod which uh, died I don't know about 10 years ago and then uh, the main thing is to show how clean everything is because I clean the floor clean this table with the uh, with the whatchamacallit Couscousier uh, tagine. Clean the tagine underneath. There was a huge amount of uh, whatever. And then the guitars are here, of course. Uh, no guitar this time. Clean the kitchen counter, which was full of crap. It was terrible. And I cleaned the microwave. Not super thoroughly, but a quick one so it's not an abortion and I've cleaned the inside of the stove because that was uh, giving off clouds of smoke because the inside uh, I cleaned it with oven cleaner cleaned it with oven cleaner the sides the bottom the back and it still gave off smoke but what I didn't look at was the top under the elements and of course I'd been grilling burgers grilling the cheese and of course from the top that uh, there was a huge black spot of burnt fat and burnt food uh, from the top so I mean that's now done so I hope I can use the oven again but otherwise I have to kind of crawl over here jump on the table go right up to the if you can see it the fire alarm unscrew that because otherwise it would set off the fire alarm 
<coughs> and I had to open every window and every door and it was freezing cold uh, but I hope I've sorted the oven because I don't want to buy a new oven it's not horribly expensive it's you know a thousand bucks or something for a new oven but I mean I have to get it delivered and, and there's really no point because this oven is perfectly fine I mean it's a uh, a glass ceramic top and it's very simple but it works so I hope I've sorted that problem and then you can see the kebab setup is once you chop the veggies and take all the parsley and the mint which you can't really see there it's just parsley and mint red onion tomato sumac and then you just have to uh whoops doesn't really want to focus well and this is i uh, may as well do a tour of the apartment there's the living room with my tagine and then i've got a few big bags here because the uh recycling for the uh paper which is this one uh, plastic i can take down but the recycling bin for paper is full and then this uh little box thing i made a few years ago when my sister was here because she had a one or two year old uh, just if i can get rid of that anyway and i didn't want her getting electrocuted or something so i have all the electronics down there and then this was of course this is the chimney but it's not functional right now and then i don't have a tv this is the last tv i think my mother bought this 15 years ago or 12 years ago it's only about 27 inches but i don't have tv here i just have internet so a couple good couches coffee table and the blue couch i spent a lot of time on especially when i'm injured with a broken wrist or uh broken something or other i've spent a lot of time on that couch one way or the other it's very comfortable very good to lie in everyone goes there first especially my brother so anyway and it's very crowded behind the piano guitar cases 1952 gibson skylark and uh, some uh, maritime charts etc from when i was doing a lot of maritime work so very crowded back there <coughs> and the orange box is walkie talkies so anyway uh good piano it's very full now and i really shouldn't keep all that crap on the uh on top of the keyboard but it is where it is so I mean, uh, but my that was bought for my brother, who's a piano teacher, and I don't use it. I do use it to work out chords. Uh, <coughs> not very often. If I get a real book uh, uh, composition, which I just download from YouTube or the net or something, then I have to go it out. Uh, uh, to the piano and work out what the chords are so I mean that works fine but this is mostly for my mother so I just want to show her how clean this really is and I did the floors and the the kitchen table and everything yeah so we'll head on down this is a very small apartment so it shouldn't take that long I can see it's six that's the whoops if it's a little focus that's about the sixth uh chair let's get all the shoes here and then my beautiful linen uh sheets uh got a hole in them so i have to throw them out and then here's the little room 
otherwise known as Finn's room, which is now my expedition room. So it's very small. We have this kind of single couch, which with a mattress on top uh, is okay for someone to sleep on. But I mean, last time I had the Airbnb here, <clears throat> and I came for the uh, cycling and you can see all my expedition crap here uh, fly rods and multiple backpacks and sleeping bags and old PCs and big video tripod etc and stoves on the so not good I have to clean this out but I mean that's gonna have to wait and then uh, you know up here clothes from both my brother and me and my mother plus all my crap plus his crap which he only uses once every three years uh, so anyway but and then lots of boots of course lots of hiking boots and lots of wading boots and so on so this is a bit of an abortion it doesn't look, it normally look like this but i mean uh i have to have somewhere to put my expedition gear so anyway that's the little room which is known as finn's room because that's where he stays and then there's the bathroom and shower and it's a bit of a mess there but i mean that's well, kind of reasonably clean. I still have to clean the toilet. I still have to clean the shower. But the only thing that, a good thing that came out of Airbnb was I got this, which is a Mila expensive washing machine. So I paid for that. We had a small one before. We have a dryer. But I mean, uh, well, it's a bathroom. What do you want? So, I mean, it does the job. And the shower is not great. Uh, to be honest, the uh, shower at Istosa or in the mountains, in the cabin in the mountains, is much better. A lot uh, stronger spray or stroller. Uh, so, but anyway. So that's that. Then we have, among other things, the Tapmo here. And it's only 18 degrees upstairs and about 12.5 degrees downstairs. So it's a lot colder here. But I had a very expensive electricity prices. So I haven't put the uh, this one on uh, downstairs yet because it uses about 2000 watts. It's an oil heater. So this is the office. And this is also a bit of an abortion. Because I have uh, two disassembled PCs with uh, hard drive bays uh, waiting to put in, into them. And I see my thing is going a bit crazy. But I mean, that's a project for maybe later. And then we have the office, which used to be my mother's office, which is still full of her books. <coughs> and now we have internet cable and a whole lot of, of other things. And we have a big screen. And we have a big PC, which I built about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Uh, that's uh, 36 cores 70, 72 threads so that's fine and that works really well uh, all parts from China <coughs> and that works really well and because it has a view I'm not sure you can see and you know, focusing on me now but it uh, gets a lot of light so that's actually a good place to work. And this is where I spend most of my time if I have to.
be on the PC. And then I've got a whole lot of dead motherboards and various PC parts on that uh, $15, <coughs> what do you want to call it? Uh, bull killer. All right, so anyway, that's the office, but uh, it's very crowded and needs a clean. And then I got this printer from two Middle Eastern girls in a little hatchback and it's probably 20 years old but it works fine <coughs> a network printer with a big scanner so I mean it's great it does the job and I don't really print too much these days but I scanned I scanned every document I had from Cornell or from Sydney University or from earlier on this thing which uh, I needed the uh, document scanning to do and the high-speed document scanning so I wanted an MFC printer with document scanning so uh, let's go keep on going and this is just the entrance with a lot of family photos and this is the master bedroom and this is probably where I should stay since I now inherited the flat from Austri. But it's got a double bed and I've chucked some clothes over there and lots of dunas if it'll focus. And then I chucked the uh, clothes dryer in here, which I had to, it self destructed, so I had to put on ski straps to fix it. But I mean, I don't use it because I don't need to. Uh, and if I have guests, then this is the place to have them. Uh, so I mean, it's, I've checked all my sleeping bags there as well. Uh, got three or four sleeping bags here. And then it's full of clothing. And then it's got dragged up my Nordic, uh, cross-country skis uh, both uh, the carbon light and the skate skis uh, although these are actually children's skate skis but I mean they work fine and I've got the hole in the tip and they're carbon uh, so uh, plus some uh, some wax as well uh, so this is the master bedroom but I don't use it and then uh, my mother can come uh, back and stay here so but anyway so I try and keep this now it's very full because I still have my summer clothes up uh, and I've got all my clothes drying lots of underwear etc uh, but no I mean this is uh, what I used to rent it out for Airbnb you know that's not a thing anymore uh, but maybe I'm probably the only person on Airbnb these days turn that off <coughs> and then uh, my room which is the little boys room which has a single bed which is enough it has very big PC with about 40 terabytes of data and again 36 cores and 72 threads uh, and two screens and a sit-stand desk which uh, I had to do when I really did my back and two screens and a mixer and had lots of headphones lots of headphones so I mean uh, that's our first aid kit uh, and then of course all my Cornell University shit but I scanned all that so I mean I threw them out so those are mostly empty so I mean that's uh, and the most important thing is this wonderful it's cloth uh, mural from Abidjan or Cote d'Ivoire or I'm not sure where 
but that I grew up with since I was a kid. So I mean, uh, whoops, uh, it keeps going out of focus. Well, there it goes. And I grew up with that uh, since I was about two years old. So that has come with me the whole way. So anyway, yeah, that's a bit of a mess, but I, I don't use the PC there anymore. I, I use the one in the office. So it's a pretty small apartment and I just cleaned it. Well, not, not my room or the guest room or Finn's room, but it's pretty small. It's only about 85 square meters. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's fine for one person, except I keep cluttering it up with, uh, more junk, uh, more guitars, amplifiers, you name it. Uh, so, uh, and more PCs. I still have to finish a home server uh, for backup, which was sitting in the office. Uh, so, I mean, I have to declutter it somehow, one way or the other. All right. And then uh, I'm still not that hungry, so I'm going to wait with that kebab. <laughs> 